morning. Uh, today's engine on the stand is a YS F120. Now this is a customer's engine. I just did a quick look at this engine to give it an initial inspection. It was sent to me to try and see if I could get it tuned and running. Uh, so that's what I'm going to do here. I've got a big tank of some Morgan's Healy, 20% Healy fuel here. I put a brand new OSF glow plug inside and I've got a 15.8 prop strapped to this thing. I've got the high speed needle open two full turns. I have not touched the fuel regulator. Um, so I'm just going to fire this thing up and see if I can't get it to run. Uh, the owner that sent it to me said he tried running it and it wouldn't run with high throttle for like a couple of seconds and then die. So I've had to review my videos, some of my videos from the last time I ran a YS120 just to kind of remember how to do this. So I'm hoping I get it right. Bear with me if I don't. Okay, so if I remember correctly, the first thing I need to do is pressurize the tank and I do that with the throttle closed. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten. And then if I recall, I open the throttle fully and rotate it through a few times like this. And now, theoretically, this thing should be ready to fire up. But we're not gonna fire it up at full throttle. See if this thing will fire up again. I've just adjusted or tightened that screw holding the throttle, the vein in place. burn this fuel off the best we can here now that there's no more fuel going to it. Okay, that should have run out all the fuel. Okay, so as you can see, 
it's a runner. Doesn't even feel all that hot, really. So I had a couple issues getting it to run initially. So the things I've done to it was, I put my exhaust header on it with a, there's a copper seal that goes inside there. That's probably why, Ray, you had this sealed all up with RTV because there was no copper seal in there to actually provide the sealing. So I've got my exhaust header on there with my copper seal to seal that up. There was no leaks there. Um, I replaced this larger fuel diameter fuel line that was here going from the regulator to the carb with a medium fuel line. Um, let's see. The throttle vein or throttle uh, butterfly became loose during the first run so I had to tighten that up. I did not touch the fuel regulator at all and it seems like it idles fine and it transitions great and it's got great top end I mean this is a scary engine and it's unfortunate that I actually had to resort to hand starting it because my back's kind of cranky about that right now I don't think I'm going to be running this engine anymore I don't think I need to I think I've proven that this engine is fine and it runs fine it may just be your technique your fuel tank setup your, your line setup or maybe that plug that was in there, because I'm not using the plug that came with this engine. So, anyway, uh, Ray, your engine runs great. Uh, hope you enjoyed the video.